Hello children, welcome to 9th Chemistry Online Classes. Chapter 4, Structure of the Atom. In this chapter, we studied Thomson's model of an atom and Rutherford's model of an atom. And we studied the drawbacks of these two models. And today we are going to learn the next model that is Bohr's model of an atom and we will learn uh, neutrons and the electron distribution in various orbits. Let us see. Bohr's model of an atom. To overcome the limitations of Rutherford model. So what is the drawback or why we discarded Rutherford model? Because the stability okay he couldn't explain the stability of an atom according to him electrons that is negative charge particles are revolving around the positively charged nucleus nucleus is the center part of the atom and electrons are revolving around the nucleus and when these uh, charged particles are moving like this in a circular motion they have uh, acceleration and finally they fall into the nucleus and collapse to that atom so that is the uh, that is affected the stability of an atom so bohr couldn't sorry uh, the rutherford couldn't explain the stability of an atom so this uh, limitation overcome by bohr's model okay bohr's model the new concept and picture of atom was given by niels bohr his full name niels bohr and he got the Nobel Prize for his work on the structure of atom and which made a great contribution in knowing the structure of an atom according to Bohr's model of an atom okay we'll see first point only certain special orbits known as discrete orbits of electrons are allowed inside the atom okay so the electron the same way uh, like uh, Rutherford electrons are revolving around the nucleus so the center part is the nucleus that is positively charged and electrons are revolving around the orbits and that that orbits are special orbits special orbits known as discrete orbits of electrons are allowed inside the atom while revolving in discrete orbits the electrons do not radiate energy okay so revolving around the these special orbits or discrete orbits electrons do not radiate energy because the each uh, in a, this each orbit have its own energy each have that own energy level so these are many uh, some energy levels okay outside the nucleus shells or energy levels designated as k l m n and so on are present k l m n or 1 2 3 4 any way we can represent these energy levels so k shall have less energy level got it children so that is the uh, Bohr's model of an atom so Bohr's model of an atom nucleus is there that is the positively charged center part electrons they are negatively charged particles they are revolving around the nucleus but that orbits have some disc they are called discrete orbits and they have a particular energy level and they are designated as k l m n or 1 2 3 4 got it next we are going to discuss about the discovery of neutron protons they are positively charged particles and electrons they are negatively charged particles inside an atom so now we are discussing the next particle that is neutron in 1932 j chardwick discovered another subatomic particle which had no charge and a mass nearly equal to that of a proton so this subatomic particle neutron had no charge and their, their, its mass is equal to nearly equal to that of a proton and compared to electron 
proton size is or proton's mass is very much okay and the proton and neutron their mass is uh, they are nearly equal it was named as neutron so the newly uh, invent discovered particle is neutron neutrons are present in the nucleus of all atoms except hydrogen okay neutrons are present in the nucleus except hydrogen because in hydrogen there is no neutron only proton is there no neutrons so neutrons are present in the nucleus so just imagine the structure of an atom the center particle is nucleus so that nucleus consists of two particles which are the protons they are positively charged and neutron they have no they have no charge in general a neutron is represented as small letter n and what about proton small letter p and uh, electron small letter e the mass of an atom is therefore given by the sum of the masses of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus so that we already studied the mass of an atom that is concentrated in the center why because the main masses that is protons and uh, this neutrons their masses are together inside the nucleus so that is the uh, the mass of an atom concentrated in the center so the mass of an atom is therefore given by the sum of the masses so what is atomic mass the sum of the mass of protons and neutrons that is called atomic mass atomic mass means mass of an atom and what is mass of an atom the sum of mass of protons and neutrons yes electrons which carry a negative charge Uh, and they are revolving outside the uh, nucleus okay and protons which carry a positive charge neutrons they are neutral that means they has no they they have no charge and protons and neutrons are in uh, inside the nucleus next is very very important the distribution of electrons in different shells or orbits and this is the another word is electronic configuration so all of you listen carefully the distribution of electrons in different shells or orbits or it is called electronic co uh, configuration electronic configuration and uh this uh, the the distribution of electrons into different orbits of an atom was suggested by niels bohr and another scientist his name is bury so bohr and bury and uh, here some rules we are following to uh, for the distribution of electrons see the first one orbit number we consider each orbit number like n so you know that many orbits are energy levels are there klmn or 1 2 3 4 like that and the each level or each orbit uh, the number we can write like that small letter n then number of electrons present in an orbit is uh, one formula is there 2 n square i'll just uh, show to you see so this is a nucleus and here is the first shell that is the k shell okay so in the k shell how many electrons can accommodate okay so that thing we are using the this formula 2 n square so you just uh, see 2 n square 2 uh, okay 2 and multiplied by n square so k shell or first shell so one uh, number is 1 So 1 square so what is the answer 1 square 1 2 into 1 2 so the maximum capacity of the k shell is 2 so i'll just draw two electrons here go to children so the first shell k shell or first shell only two electrons can accommodate maximum so one okay and two three is not allowed in the first shell so in the same way we will see the second shell that is the l shell or the second shell c so that time 
2 n square 2 n square 2 into 2 square second shell so 2 into uh, 2 square 2 square is 4 4 into 2 8 so the maximum capacity of the second shell is 8 so actually here you have to draw 8 electrons that is the arrangement or uh, the distribution of electrons the second shell maximum 8 electrons got it okay one is okay two okay three four five six seven and eight so last eight eight number eight uh, electrons accommodate in the second shell the same way we will see the third shell 2 into 3 square so the third shell uh, third shell how many electrons can accommodate 3 3s are 9 9 twos are 18 so maximum capacity of third shell is 18 the same way you can calculate uh, to uh, the fourth shell fifth shell like that got it children yes then the shells in an atom are filled in sequence that means first uh, uh, completed the uh, first shell k shell then only go to the second then only go to the third like that that is the sequence then the order only it will uh, complete or it will fill thus until the inner shells of an atom are filled completely the outer shells cannot contain any electrons okay so first uh, two electrons in the uh, maximum capacity of k shell is 2 then next is second shell 8 third shell 18 like that so in ninth standard you have to learn the atomic uh, sorry electronic configuration of uh, 18 elements so today we are learning six uh, atoms that is hydrogen helium lithium beryllium boron carbon and in the center that is the nucleus the nucleus part of each uh, atom it contain protons and neutrons but in the case of hydrogen there is no neutrons and here protons and electrons are revolving around the nucleus and the number of protons it is called atomic number that we will learn uh, one again but to, now i am just uh, saying about it number of protons you know, is called atomic number number of protons equal to atomic number and that is equal to the number of electrons okay so in an atom number of electrons and number of protons are almost same number of electrons and number of protons and uh, first we will see the hydrogen hydrogen atom and hydrogen atom how many how many electrons are there here only one electron one electron so here one proton also and in a hydrogen atom there is no neutron okay children so this is very important you have to learn 18 elements 18 atoms uh, schematic model also so and this is necessary to 10th standard so very very important okay so in the hydrogen atom atomic number is 1 atomic number 1 and 1 uh, electron and 1 proton next is helium atom so capital letter h and small letter e that is helium and here the atomic number so atomic number we can represent it by the letter z so atomic number means what protons number or electrons number uh, z that is atomic number proton number or electron number so in an helium atom atomic number is 2 so how many protons are there protons are 2 and electrons also 2 1 protons and 2 electrons and next is lithium atom capital letter l and small letter i and z that is the atomic number atomic number means protons number or electrons number so lithium is 3 
So here one, one hydrogen is one, helium is two and uh, lithium is three. And here how many electrons and how many protons? Electrons, three electrons and three protons. Okay, and the neutrons number we will study in the next uh, class. So now you'll just listen, three electrons and three proton, that is atomic number. Then fourth one, beryllium, Be, beryllium. And here the atomic number Z equals four. So atomic number means protons or electrons, protons, number of protons or number of electrons. So here four protons and four electrons. I'm repeating once again, protons that is in the nucleus and electrons are revolving around the nucleus. Okay, so don't be confused. Protons, electrons and neutrons, their location. Protons and neutrons are inside the nucleus. Electrons are revolving around it. And what is atomic number means number of protons or number of electrons. Next, boron. Atomic number is 5 atomic number 5 so here uh, 5 proton and 5 electron next is carbon carbon's atomic number 6 so atomic number means number of protons or number of electrons so in then carbon atom how many protons 6 protons and how many electrons 6 electrons Okay, children, so this atom model, schematic representation of each atom, this only six atoms I given today. So these six atoms a model and this how many electrons and how many protons that you have to draw in your notebook. Okay, the same way, the same way you have to write in your uh, notebook. So in the next class, we will complete uh, another other uh, atoms also okay so okay children all the best thank you